True heroes are born from split-second decisions, made when lives are on the line. Corporal Nick Neighbors brings us the story of one Marine who made the ultimate sacrifice to protect his brothers in arms. Growing up, Donald Hogan was just like any other kid. He loved the ocean. He was a water kid heading by the beach. Loved to hike. Loved being outdoors. He was more of an outdoor kid than he was an indoor kid. But from a young age, he knew he wanted to be part of something greater. But he'd been pouring through these leatherneck magazines, looking at all the guns and stuff. I mean, this was just what caught his interest, was camouflage and weaponry. You know, that was pretty much it. In 2007, Hogan shipped off to Marine Corps boot camp in San Diego. Shortly thereafter, he deployed to Afghanistan with 1st Battalion, 5th Marine Regiment. It was there, while on a foot patrol, that Lance Corporal Hogan gave his life while diverting his squad from an improvised explosive device. I have the solemn privilege, a few moments ago, of presenting the Navy Cross to his parents, Jim and Carla. One of the things you worry about when you lose a child in battle is that he'll, people will forget, he'll, he'll disappear. And this is a way of knowing that he won't ever disappear. You know, people will remember him always. The Marine Corps is honoring Hogan's memory with the Lance Corporal Donald J. Hogan Bachelor Enlisted Quarters at Camp Pendleton. The BEQ is designed to house more than a thousand Marines at any given time, all of whom grew up just like any other kid. The Navy Cross is the second highest award for valor a Marine can receive. From Washington, I'm Lance Corporal, John Tucker.